Every day, you depend on a reliable, high-quality water supply when you turn on your tap. Delivering that water to you is one of the Southern Nevada Water Authority's top priorities, but the Water Authority is doing more. At its Applied Research and Development Center, scientists are exploring, investigating, and enhancing water's future today. The U.S. has one of the world's safest drinking water supplies. But in today's fast-paced environment, scientists also are working to stay ahead of the curve to examine emerging water quality concerns. Some of the most exciting research is happening right here in Southern Nevada. SNWA's Applied Research and Development Center, which opened in 2007, houses one of the most sophisticated municipal water quality complexes in the world. It's also one of the few that combines research and water quality testing under the same roof. That synergy matters. Plenty of resources foster leading edge research. With more than 100 published studies and $6 million in research funding to date, resources include more than 50,000 square feet of dedicated laboratory space. That's an environment that inspires the SNWA's award winning team of professionals. It's very unusual for a research and development function to be part of a municipality. And it, what it really boils down to is an attitude. Do you want to meet just the minimum requirements of the regulation or do you want to go beyond that? And what this R&D facility really represents is our organization's attitude about going above and beyond the regulation. Ultimately, we want to produce the safest drinking water that we can for the Valley. And this allows us to do that. Uh, we start investigating issues that might be important to the future beyond the regulation. And if they do become important, we've already done the research to describe what that contaminant might be and how we would get rid of it in the treatment process. The SNWA's team, which includes chemists, microbiologists, engineers, postdoctoral researchers, and other professionals, participates in dozens of studies. The ultimate goal is to protect and improve Southern Nevada's drinking water. So studies may investigate novel treatment technologies or ways to enhance regulatory compliance efforts. And with high interest in constituents such as pharmaceuticals or endocrine disrupting compounds in water supplies, scientists seek to better understand how these occur, form, and move through water, as well as their potential health effects. All this research has some real-world impacts. The R&D team has helped develop patented technology, and its scientists have presented research data as invited speakers around the globe. With major grants from the Water Research Foundation, U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, and more, the SNWA has secured an international reputation for leading-edge research. While scientists have some serious blue-chip credentials, what they do is far more than academic. It's personal. So we may be in the lab for the most part of the day performing high-end research, but we also have real lives, we have children, we're part of the Southern Nevada community. Because of this, we develop solutions that are not only innovative, but also sustainable and have low environmental impact. We also want the drinking water industry to use our research uh, to the widest population possible. One example of research that's yielding such impacts is the SNWA's pilot plant housed at the regional Alfred Merritt Smith Water Treatment Facility by Lake Mead. Pilot plant scientists are exploring ways to reduce bromate levels that form during ozonation, which is a highly advanced water disinfection process used by many utilities, including the SNWA. Ozonation already has proven its prowess in the treatment process. Scientists are now exploring how to make a proven process even better. In addition to being a disinfectant, uh, we find that the ozone can destroy many of those contaminants that we're currently researching in our R&D process. Um, it also takes care of taste and odors. Uh, and another issue that's come up recently in the water industry is uh, uh, algal issues. Uh, algae can produce toxins. And ozone has a very, very strong capability of getting rid of algal toxins. Some past research that we've done in R&D uh, concerns itself with pharmaceuticals, uh, personal care products, etc. One of the things that ozone uh, also produces is bromate, but we have a patented process 
that our R&D function has created for us so that we can keep that at a very low level. So ozone does so much more for us than just disinfection. While bromate and 90 other naturally occurring and man-made contaminants are regulated by the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, many additional substances could face future regulation. The R&D team and the SNWA's Compliance Laboratory monitor for more than 50 of these unregulated contaminants, and the R&D team conducts further studies on several. The R&D lab contains highly advanced analytical equipment to help support such research grants. The Water Authority is proactive and they look beyond water regulation to improve water quality. Uh, we're very fortunate to have amazing laboratory resources. Better tools support better analysis. It's like being in a high-tech playground uh, without the play. So one of the most important tools that we have here is liquid chromatography with tandem mass spectrometry system. This is, this is an important tool because it can detect minute levels of compounds in water. For example, uh, can, it can detect compounds as small as one drop of water in 20 Olympic-sized swimming pools. The commitment to excellence that marks the work of the Applied Research and Development Center goes far beyond the walls of the lab. The R&D team's leader notes that the SNWA's vision to be a global leader in service, innovation, and stewardship provides a daily framework for creative solutions and for success. We work alongside our compliance laboratory. The compliance laboratory is responsible for the Safe Drinking Water Act, but our collaboration with them proves to be very powerful. They do thousands of analyses each year to comply with the regulation. We take that one step further and say, what might be regulated in the future? What contaminants ought we be concerned with that go beyond the regulation? So essentially, we're a complement to the compliance laboratory. Our collaboration with the compliance laboratory is unique among water utilities. Probably no more than 5% of the utilities across the United States have this collaborative effort under one roof. Learn more about the efforts to protect and ensure your water quality at smwa.com. Links to key SNWA research abstracts, as well as information on the lab's analytical capabilities and more, may be found at waterqualitysnwa.com. What happens in Vegas doesn't always stay in Vegas. When it comes to ensuring water's future today, both here in Southern Nevada and around the globe, the SNWA's Applied Research and Development Center is leading the charge. Reporting for Waterways, I'm Christine Vaughn.